everyone. So here we are. We are at the end of the Getting Started with Raspberry Pi project that you can find on projects.raspberrypi.org. And the challenge there was for you to take a tour of the menu and see if you can find Scratch, a game in Python, and a version of Minecraft that you can program. And so as you start to navigate, you can look in here. I'm sure you've looked maybe in these folders. You started to search around to see, you know, what's available in here. You may have even tried to jump over here. This is obviously the internet, but to your Raspberry. And you can see if we look in programming, there's just a couple options. The internet's there, our sounded video. But we don't have the games option. We don't have some stuff here. So if you have this where you searched and you can't find it, let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm going to show you two ways to do things. Um, obviously you have the power of the internet search yourself. But we're going to go here to preferences. And what we want to do is we can go here to a couple things. We can go to add and remove software. And in here you can see lots of things that are available. So I could pop here into games. It's going to show me all the games that are available for us to play and use. And you can pick how much you want to install and download. Remember your memory card. If you just have an 8 gigabyte micro SD card, you know, you might want to be a little cautious of that to not download all these things. But just know that those are there. You could also search here in the browser specifically for a application that you're looking for. So if we do Scratch, I could go here to the Programming, and it's going to search the things that are available, and you can see, holy cow, there is a lot here, isn't there? There's a lot of programming. So what I could do here is I could, one, either scroll here once this list gets updated, or I can just search directly um, for Scratch itself. So let's go ahead and just wait for this update to take place here. Okay, so it's updated here. You can see that there's a lot here, and this is almost overwhelming and not very helpful if you're getting started and, and not having lots of confidence in yourself in terms of the things that you could do. But I just want you to know that all these things are here. So actually, this is what I'm going to recommend. Okay, We're going to click out of here. We're going to go back up to the Raspberry. We're going to go to Preferences, and what's What's really nice by Raspberry Pi is if we bypass that, we can go down here to recommended software. And when we go to recommended software, it's going to give us a better visual of the software and the packages available, and it's going to give us really what we need um, in this work. So go ahead, I'm going to wait for this to update, and then we will click and get these things installed that you're trying to look for in this challenge. Okay, so here we are. This gives you the recommended software, and you can pick and choose here what you want. The ones that we were looking for in the challenge, which is going to be helpful, um, is going to be these. You're going to want to add Minecraft, and you're going to want to add uh, Scratch 3. You want the newest version of Scratch. Okay, and then the rest of these are just some different options and things for you um, for you to go ahead and get installed. So um, we'll leave that up to you in terms of what you want to add, but you can go here to games if you want to add. Um, here's some Python versions of arcade games. I actually have this book, so I'm going to go ahead and click that, but that would take care of your Python games that you're looking for. Um, and here are some other ones. So I, I like those because I know that I'm, I really like playing around with Python and learning my skills. So you just need to add Minecraft, Scratch 3, and if you want just this Python game, right here for you and you can add other things as well there's lots of other things like I, I really like move for my programming um, I'm actually going to use this sense hat for a future project and sonic pi so I'm going to click on those but you pick what you want you're going to hit apply it's going to install those packages um, and then you should see them then in the menu so we're going to go ahead and let this download and then I'll show you what that looks like and then you should have your challenge done for day one. All right, the installation is finally complete, so we're gonna go ahead and hit OK here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this, and then what you're gonna find now is when I go up to this Raspberry, you now see I have a Games tab here, 
and in programming I now have these options as well so it automatically files whatever you installed to the proper subgroup menu so in my programming I've got scratch 3 here I also installed the Sonic Pi the Sense Hat and, and Moo and in games all right I see I've got some additional games added from those Python classic games and my Minecraft Pi. So the challenge is if you want to go ahead and click around and use some of those, go for it. We are going to spend a week in Minecraft Pi here later down the road, and we're going to do some programming here very shortly using Scratch 3. So uh, if you just want to wait for that, great. I just want you to know how to add that software, how to find that software. And now in your challenge, you should be able to check that box as success as you now have all those things added to your menu. All right, my friends, let me know if you have questions. Reach out in the Slack channel. Um, re reach out via email and other methods if you need it. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and move on to day number two.